Hi, I'm James Norton for Chattacom Super Taster, and you're finding me as I am every morning, fully showered with an array of breakfast pastries in front of me. Uh, just to break it down real fast, least expensive, about 21 cents an ounce, most expensive, about 35 cents an ounce. I'll tell you what they are as I try them, and let's see how this goes. We're going to start with the Everyday Essentials. It's kind of a local generic, um, and uh, we'll give it a taste. Warm. I was going to complain that Everyday Essentials was a little greasy, and the components don't really hold together very well. But the real issue is that I hit a piece of gristle. This is America, folks. Gristle's unacceptable, particularly first thing in the morning. Big old F. The next pastry is a Hot Pockets cheese and, uh, and sausage pastry. So let's give it a shot. My issue with this is that pastry is gummy tasting and the interior is so mild, it's so soft spoken, there's no zip, there's no pizzazz, uh, there's no real heat or spicing, that basically that gummy pastry is all you're getting in your mouth. It's not an ideal situation. So I'm going to give this one a uh, C-. minus. Alright, my next pastry is Pillsbury Breakfast Scrambles. Let's give this a shot. The box shows this little uh, breakfast scramble thing bursting open like a cornucopia, something from 1001 Arabian Nights, full of sausagey, cheesy treasure. This is just like a Danish pastry with a tiny layer of flavorless cheese wedged inside of it. I certainly expect better at 29 cents an ounce. Uh, I'm going to give this sucker a D plus. Do not recommend. All right, my next uh, breakfast sandwich is Bob Evans breakfast biscuit with sausage and cheese and egg. Here it's actually really pleasant and buttery. This is not a bad biscuit, particularly for a microwavable item. Um, sausage has got a little bit of pep to it. The egg tastes eggy. But, uh, I would certainly eat it again. I'll give this an A minus. And finally, clocking in at 32 cents an ounce, it's the Jimmy Dean breakfast croissant. So a little bit of a different uh, topping here. The croissant is not so much a croissant as a buttery bun, but what do you expect? I would be a little surprised if we got authentic Parisian flavor here. It's nice. The cheese really represents there's some actual sort of lactic kick, which is really pleasant. Again, I wish these sausages were speaking up louder, but the whole thing is soothing. Um, it's tender. It's delicate. I'll give us a B plus, and I, I would actually eat the Jimmy Dean once again. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you don't already subscribe on YouTube, please get out there, sign up, tell your friends. I want to get a lot of people watching the show. I will be back tomorrow with more food.